about 100,000 a week. We sell 100,000 copies. But uh, our latest research suggests that four or five people read every one. So it's about half a million readers a week, we think. What sort of people? Oh, all sorts of people, all ages, sizes, IQ range. <laughs> It's Suggsy, Chris, and Carl. Oh, Madness. Nick. Same one. Or Matthew. should I say the Fink Brothers? Well, well where are their representatives <laughs> with, though? They're not actually. <clears throat> I see. Well, how long have you been reading 2000 AD? Ten minutes. Oh. <clears throat> this one. <laughs> this one. I've been reading it for years. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, two years. years. And you've also written a single a couple of years back, was it Mutants in Mega City One? Yeah, well, we uh, we started our own record label, which in fact was taken from a name from the comic Zar Jazz Records, <clears throat> which means all things wonderful. And uh, we employed two chaps called Think Brothers to make a record in our studio, and we helped them and assisted them. And uh, it was an enormous flop. <laughs> <laughs> Carl, when did the idea actually come to write the single for 2000 AD? Well, uh, Tharg approached us and asked us to do it. And we'd just been to New York and heard some hip-hop and Wiki Wiki. And we started writing it on the way back. Mm -hmm. But uh, it was a bit dodgy because uh, we didn't want to infringe any uh, copyrights. You're not allowed to make money out of judges and things. Mm. All right, thank you very much. Madness or the Fink Brothers. Hopefully Matthew will be the, uh, yeah. the art droid of the future. Talking of artwork, Carl. This Please. was sent to us by Matthew when he wrote to us. It's his little bit of... That's very good. What do you think of that? Oh, it's it pretty good. good. Professional opinion yeah, over there. Professional opinion. All right. Well, I'm not really qualified, but it looks fairly impressive to me. Do you do your own colouring? Yes. Very good. Brett Ewing's free at the moment, I understand, and he'll tell you whether you've got what it takes to be a professional art robot. <laughs> Why should I be frightened? When mutants are waiting on Earth, 